find out how the art fest is going. We just had a few weekends to talk about the new album. What else can we find out? Today on an off day from the Fest. How's yes. uh, It's going great actually. Lots of partying, lots of work. Uh, it's a good combination. <laughs> Very good. And now you guys are um, given the title of the breakthrough artist from Fest this year. And you guys are starting to get success now finally. After, you know, yeah, you, you don't really need to believe everything you see in Blabbermouth, you know. <laughs> no, seriously. It's, uh, we have a good publicist, you know. <laughs> no, to be honest, I mean, I'm happy that we're on Ausfest and uh, seriously, I think it's a great tour and the fact that bands like, you know, like the crazy bands, you know, like Nile, you know, all this like blasting and death metal, black metal stuff is on Ausfest is actually great, you know, because it, uh, it gives like a bigger exposure to, to this kind of music, this kind of genre right. that most people just either don't even, don't even know about it, you know. Right. I mean, Lamb of God fans, you know, die, they know about Behemoth or Nile. Mm -hmm. So the fact that we do Ospas and the fact that we do these off shows, you know, they come to see Lamb of God and Hatebreed mm -hmm. and they see Behemoth, you know, I think that's great. So, I mean, both Ospas and the off shows we do with, with these guys, you know, I think it's, it's great. I mean, everyone benefits from it totally. And I'm really happy, you know, to see all these kids, you know, living with Behemoth shirts. So. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. So then the response? It's really good. Though. I mean, of course, you know, we, we, we will never convert all the kids into, you know, this music because, you know, for some of them it's just, you know, just too scary, mm -hmm. just too dangerous, too fast. So, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, that's what it is. That's what we can do. You know? We push hard as we can, you know, we work our asses off, you know, to, to make these kids, kids love this music, you know. Right. And, and I bet that we succeed, at least with, you know, some of them, some of them will stick to you know to their own bands, you know, to the stuff that is not that fast and right. crazy, you know. So we don't want to change, you know, in order to attract fans. You know, we oh, want to do our thing, you know, eventually attracting new fans. So that's what we're doing on this tour. Yeah. Now the new album, The Apostasy, um, debuted on Billboard's one, uh, 49 yeah. here in the states. Yeah. Um, so. How does that feel? Like, where were you when you found out the good news? I think I was on the bus, <laughs> and I just got a message, I believe, and uh, I just saw it. And I don't know, maybe I don't know. I was asleep probably. I was like, what the fuck? You know? <laughs> well, congratulations. That's so, very yeah, thank you. And I think it's I think it's cool. You know, it could be it could have been better. You know, if if the label put more effort into advertisement, probably. But still, it's great. So um, I think it's uh, the fact that you know Behemoth is you know has ended on Billboard charts. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a, you know it's it's a you know middle finger to some people you know <laughs> who didn't believe in us you know. But of course you know it wasn't it's not our aim to you know to to to, to score like the highest scores you know on right. any charts you know what I mean. Right. It's good to see that you know it means that people appreciate it that people buy our records and stuff you know. But we never, I mean, making music, you know, sitting at home and jamming, you know, new riffs or writing songs or whatever. I don't do this thinking of Billboard or, you know, MTV or this kind of stuff, you know what I mean? I do this because I love this music and I want to express myself. And it's just something I got here, you know, I just have to, you know, get it out. Right. Clean up my system, you know, and eventually, you know, make a record, you know, that people would either like or not. And we are very fortunate because it seems like this record selling is great. The, the sales are great, and people dig it. And uh, you know, even though it's a, it's a pretty fucking brutal record, I know people like it. So, well, uh, it makes me happy. That's great. Know, so. Okay. Now, last time that we got to speak with you, um, you had just gotten back from Nepal, and you were saying yeah. how it was very inspirational yeah. to you. Yeah, it was. Can you tell us how that kind of translated into the? The album and I think even a cover, you know, the, the apostasy cover, which represents um, our interpretation of Hindu goddess Kali. It's, it's. I think I, I, I pretty much, you know, stole the whole idea. From, Where does your swords come from? Huh? Where does the swords come from? Swords. You yeah. mean the the the, the, On the, album cover? the daggers that she's. Yes. Uh, it's 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 part of her. Um, it's her weapons, you know, probably just to slay enemies. To punish people, you know, for uh, whatever. <laughs> so it's she's a scary goddess. She, she's you know a goddess of destruction. 
and death, you know. So this cover is, you know, stands for, well, basically, you know, I mean, she's also a goddess of creation, you know. So you know, the whole pagan system is based on duality. Mm -hmm. I'd say, you know, the human nature is all about duality, you know. So we, you know, either way, we refer to human nature right. by uh, using, you know, this kind of metaphors. Mm -hmm. And Kali is definitely a metaphor. You know, I think it's, I think it's just, you know, it, it's a great uh, uh, metaphor what this band is, really, you know, it's, it's just a destructive force, it's fucking violent and crazy and everything, you know, but at the same time it's very organic, yeah. and it's done by human beings, so that's cool, you know? I like it. <laughs> I think there's some fantasy in it, you know, but just a little bit fantasy. I just like to, you know, to bring this concept, you know, into the human and just, you know, try to make our own interpretation of it and just, you know, create our own reality, create our own world, you know, that will be, uh, you know, create our own concept. Right. So, yeah. And you went to Jerusalem too, right? Yeah, so like earlier. Yeah. And Christ Grinding Avenue. Yeah, this one was inspired by, you know, I mean, well, I just advise everyone to go there, you know, because it's pretty much, you know, where the whole civilization, you know, I mean, everything pretty much, you know, comes from there, you know what I mean? This is the moment when the, uh, with the, when the ancient world is pretty much, you know, going down, and that's what we call the Western civilization, that where, kind of where, where it comes from, it's from the, you know, either Christian, you know, origins, if we want it or not. So I just advise everyone to go there and just to witness it himself and uh, and uh, yeah, make happy his mind about the you know the whole thing. So yeah, we went there as a tourist. We did a show in um, Israel and we just took this trip to Jerusalem to see it ourselves. It was pretty pretty impressive to be there, you know, definitely. I mean, I've always been interested in history, so it was good to see all these places that people that not many people have really chance to go and see, you know, so, yeah, it was good times. Very good. And now, the title of the album, You Have to See, yeah. can you tell us your interpretation of how, personally, it comes to you? The apostasy stands for rejecting religious beliefs. That's what the dictionary says. And uh, I like what dictionary says. You know? <laughs> When I was like, when I was a teenager, I just, I just realized, you know, how much hypocrisy uh, is behind religions. You know? like not just Christian religion, it was just Catholic. I was born Catholic, you know, so it's not just about this, you know. And like any religious, you know, it's like the biggest scorn of the world, you know what I mean? It's the, it's the cause of all the, of all but most of the, the cruelest shit, you know, that, that humans, you know, did to each other. Right. It was caused by religion, so I was like, well, I mean, Behemoth has never been a Christian-friendly band or a religious, religious-friendly band, so I was like, well, I mean, this is such a cool title, you know, it's very strong, it's very aggressive, and at the same time, it makes you think. It's not like, you know, you know, it's not primitive, you know, it's very sophisticated, I would say. It has a very strong intellectual background, too, which is very important, you know. Behemoth is not here just to, you know, just to have primitive anti-Christian band. We are a very anti-religious band, you know, but we have our reasons to be anti-religious. And, um, yeah, and I think it's just a perfect expression of what we as, a, as, as a individuals are and uh, what this band is all about, you know, so...